it's Sally here. Just coming on real quick to finish up this box that I started yesterday. Um, you can see the part one video to see what I've done so far. It's a wooden cigar box that I've decorated. And I'm going to use it to store all of my cling stamps and all my rubber stamps that I took off the stamping blocks. So what I decided is I wanted some color on here and I tried both the Dilutions ink spray and also the Archival ink in Garden Patina. So that's this one and the Dilutions ink spray is a little more intense. I kind of like both of them but I'm sort of leaning towards this one. So I think that's what I'm going to do rather than use the archival ink. So I'm just going to put a puddle of this on my craft mat and if I don't spill it all over, use one of the ink daubers. I'm going to kind of daub it off on a paper towel and then pounce into it just so that I don't end up with it being too intense. And I'm just going to move it around on here and get some color on the texture paste that I added yesterday. It's really nice and dry. And as I pounce with this, I don't know if you can see it, but I'm getting a little bubble. I'm not sure if that will stay or not, but I like it. And I am letting the ink go out onto the box a little bit to create a shadow. Oh yeah, I really like that. I haven't used these inks all that much, so I'm not still not real sure what they can and can't do. But I do like them. A little bit came off. Okay, now we'll see when we go over that. I don't think that it's going to make any difference going over top of that little bit of archival ink that I had on there. And look at the edge. I like what it's doing on the edge right there. I'm going to go all the way around the edge. I like that. Just to darken the edges just a little bit. So if I go quick enough, I can lighten it up where I got on the Papers. I'm probably not even in frame here. Okay, I'm just going to go along this edge and darken it up a little bit. And then wipe back what's right on the front there. There, that's what I want. I'm just going to do all these edges. this back a little bit. So that was Dilutions Ink Spray in Vibrant Turquoise. I'm going to dry this and then do something else on top of that. Okay, 
it's all dry. And I'm thinking I'm going to use my fine liner bottle with just some white acrylic paint. Hopefully it's not clogged up. Good. Perfect. And I'm just going to add some dots. I'm not going to do it everywhere. Just random dots. I'm using my fine liner bottle now with some white acrylic paint and just adding random dots here and there just to add a little embellishment, a little more fun to this texture paste. shaping one it's so tempting to try to go back and fix it and you're always better off not to because nine times out of ten you only make it worse so and when you have this many dots like that it's not really noticeable at the end of the day have my iPad camera turned the opposite direction than I usually have it so I am really hoping that when I'm done here everything is in frame and my head isn't That's good. I like it. I really don't think I'm going to do any more on the inside because all my envelopes with my stamps will be stacked up in here. It'll cut off part of that and you won't see any of this. So I think I'm just going to leave that as is. I'm going to dry this and then decide if I want to do anything on the sides or not. like about the dilution ink is that when I went back over it with the dots of white acrylic the ink seeped up into the white acrylic a little bit and kind of tinted that white to closer to the ink color and that was a nice surprise I really like that what I'm not crazy about is where I went along the edges um, it kind of mixed with this quinacridone nasal gold and we have green so I'm gonna live with it though I'm it's gonna sit here at some point I may decide to paint over that 
I don't hate it. It's okay. And it's going to be sitting open. So I really, I'm not even going to see it most of the time. So I'm going to put my stamps in here. See how much extra expansion space I have. And I'll be back. Okay, all my little envelopes with my stamps are in here. I do have room for some more. And then if I end up with more after that, when this is full, I'll just make another box because I like this. I have room right now to put my acrylic block in there. I have my dilutions block in here. I could even stand up a couple of the stamp pads that I use most frequently if I want to. So, and it's a way better storage solution than this. These I still have to take off of the wooden blocks. So I will need room in here, but these should all fit on a sheet and then maybe two sheets, two more envelopes should take care of that. What I did want to show you though is I made some stamps, stamps and or stencils using hot glue. I just made the design on my craft mat, my nonstick craft mat, waited for it to cool off. They work best as a stencil where you just lay it down and spray um, an acrylic spray or an ink spray through it lightly. It makes a really nice impression and they work great on the gel plates too. So that was a fun thing to do. That's it. That's my solution for storing my cling stamps. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and go make some art.